This story is based in the 17th century where a man named Standish O'Grady lived in Capra Cullen with his daughter Mary. Maximus has escaped. Mary, come help me catch this sheep. I'm coming, Papa. Maximus, get back in your pen. <coughs> come help fix this wall, Mary. It's so heavy. <coughs> <coughs> Mary went to her first ever hunt ball. Yes. So, I'm so, so excited. Thanks, so Odie, your shoes. So 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 I have so never been here. At the hunt ball, she met a handsome soldier named Henry Steverdale, who was the eldest son of the Earl of Ilchester. Hi, my name is Henry. What's your name? Hi, my name's Mary. Would you like to dance with me, Mary? I would love to dance. Will I ever see you again? Maybe. Hmm. Meet me at the swing underneath the oak tree tomorrow, okay? Mary and Henry started meeting in secret at the oak tree. They met early in the morning while people were still asleep. Or so they thought. Standish was out counting his horses when suddenly he spotted Mary and Henry together. Standish rushed home to write to the Earl immediately about his son. My Lord, a letter has arrived for you from a Mr O'Grady in Limerick. My lord, I hope you will pardon the liberty I take in writing to you about your son. My only excuse is the great interest I take in the young man and my fear that if he remains in Limerick, he will be involved in an unpleasant scrape. I would therefore most strongly advise you to have him moved elsewhere as soon as possible. I trust to your honour that you will not tell him that I have written to you or mentioned to him the subject of this letter. The letter Standish wrote to the Lord worked. Henry was moved from Limerick before he had a chance to say goodbye. Mary was left broken hearted. Oh, there's post this morning. Dear Mr O'Grady, I would like to thank you ever so much for letting me know that I could keep my son safe from any fights. My friend from the army, Colonel Pendergast, We'll be passing through Limerick soon. I was wondering if he could stop in to pass on my thanks. A few days later, Colonel Prendergast arrives in Capricullen. Colonel Prendergast, it is an honour to meet you. Please, come inside. Standish and Colonel Prendergast soon became best friends, spending time, sharing meals, playing chess and talking. The Colonel was utterly charmed by the lovely Mary, but noticed that she wasn't happy. A week later, it was time for the colonel to leave. I hope you will forgive me for speaking to you about your daughter. She is so pale and seems so sad. I fear she may be ill. With this, O'Grady told the story of his daughter's lost love. The earl would never consent to a marriage between his son and the daughter of a poor Irish farmer. I think the earl would only be too pleased. I know that because I am the earl of Ilchester. Henry returned to Limerick and the couple were reunited. The happy couple married in Abington Church in 1772 and had five children. While Mary and Henry have long passed, the oak tree under which they used to meet remains standing just inside the main entrance to the Glenstall Abbey estate and is known locally as the Ilchester Oak. <laughs>